Dante Fire and EMS on the location of the emergency. Uh, Bonanza Creek Ranch has had two people accidentally shot on a movie set by a prop gun. We need help immediately. Okay. Bonanza Creek Ranch, come on. Stay, stay on the phone with me. We're going to get some help, okay? Don't hang up, okay? Hold on just one second. It sounds like somebody else is calling for two ambulances. Else is calling you better make sure. Good. Everybody should be. We need some help. Our director and our cameraman, our camera woman has been shot. Are they going to take him to the road? So was it loaded with a real bullet or one? Don't, I, don't, I cannot tell you that. Okay. We have two injuries from a movie gun shot. Okay. We're getting them out there already. Just stay on the phone with me. Thank okay. you. Okay. No, no, no. I'm a script supervisor. How, I ran how many sitting, people were injured? Two I w that I know of. I was sitting, we were rehearsing, and it went off, and I ran out. We all ran out. They were butt doubled over the AD and the, the, the camera woman the and, the direct, and the director. They're clearing the road. Could you come back? We're back on the We're back in the town. Take a call, we're back in the western town. Is there any serious bleeding? I don't know. I ran out of the building. But we That's need fine. It. I still have to go through these, okay? Are they completely alert? We don't know. I can't tell. Maybe? Hello? Hi. I have a protocol of questions I need to ask. If you can just answer them the best you can, okay? Are okay. they completely alert? Um, yeah, they, they are alert. Okay. What part of the body was injured? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not in there. Okay, that's um, fine. Is there more than one wound? Uh, I think there's one on 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 two indi individuals. One wound on two individuals. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm sending the ambulance help you now. Stand line. I'll see exactly what to do next. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna tell you how to stop the bleeding. Listen carefully. Make sure we do it right. Um, we do. Um, we do have a a medic on set. A medic on set. They're already doing that. I believe okay. so. Yeah. Is the bleeding controlled? Um, let me see if I'm allowed to get it close as needed. No. Where on the set are you guys? We got one laying down. Where on the where on the property are you guys? They can find you. Go back to We're on the uh, now. We'll, we'll have a. I could have a van. A van. Gate one. one. Okay. It'll be gate one. Um. And I can see that we have a van out there, so that way we could uh. That kind of escort you out here. Okay, they're getting there as quick as they can. Um. I just make sure help is on the way, okay? If you get more okay. information or if anything gets worse in any way, call us back for further instructions. Gotcha. Okay. Bumping it up a level to some of the cooler, more up, up to date stuff. It's not more extravagant than the second one. <laughs> Terrible gun safety. Everyone always thinks that a blank can't kill anyone. Um, if I may, <laughs> this is a real rifle bullet. Not only with the bullet in front, that's the part that leaves the gun, but also the cartridge. And this is the part that holds all of the uh, powder. When the um, bullet is fired, when the cartridge is fired, the bullet leaves the gun and all of the uh, powder burning also leaves. It doesn't explode all at once. It continues to burn as it leaves. So there's a lot of particulate matter. A blank is just this part mm -hmm. sealed off with a little bit of wax or with cardboard and all of the gunpowder that can propel this through a human body 
is still inside the blank. So it comes out with enough force. Um, if there's any discharge, if there's any um, uh, debris inside the barrel, it's gonna come out as shrapnel. If this starts to break down, um, you might have pieces of plastic or brass also being sent out as shrapnel of a hand grenade. Uh, and if it's close enough, the blast itself can puncture open tissue, even fracture bone. And that's how um, John Eric Hexum died because it was close enough to his head that it turned, his, um, turned some parts of bone of his skull into shrapnel that went into his brain. Didn't need a bullet, so blanks are by themselves not necessarily safe. I'm sure the protocols were followed, but protocols aren't enough. Um, someone has to be really afraid at every given moment that the gun is going to go off. And when they see that it's pointed in the wrong direction, uh, to yell bloody murder before something happens. I almost didn't take the job because I wasn't sure if I was ready, but doing it, like, it went really smoothly. I just an AD that yelled at me at lunch because asking about revision. Did you see him lean over my table and yell at me? He's supposed to check the gun. He's responsible. Let's go. Let's go. I will. What do you want to know? All right, Ali, what's the current state of what's going on with the case? I'm not allowed to make any comments because it's an ongoing investigation. I've been ordered by the Sheriff's Department in Santa Fe, I can't answer any questions about the investigation. I can't. It's an active investigation in terms of a woman dying. She was my friend. She was my friend. The day I arrived in Santa Fe to start shooting, I took her to dinner with Joel, the director. We were a very, very, excuse me, we were a very, very, you know, well-oiled crew shooting a film together, and then this horrible event happened. You met with the, uh, the, the, the um, I'm afraid I forget her name in a moment, but you met with her family uh, in the Helena. day? Yes, her I met with her Helena. husband. If you're spending this much time waiting for us, you, you should know, know her, her name. name. Her name is Helena. Helena Hutchins. I met with her husband, Matthew, and her son. Yeah, that's right. And uh, how did that meeting go? Uh, I wouldn't know how to characterize it. Uh, they're they're, they're, they're you, mortified. You guys, you guys, so, you know what? You, I mean, no details. But, but do, do me a favor. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you a question. Well, I appreciate that he was probably very upset. The, 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 the guy is overwhelmed with grief. This, this is something that, that, you know, there are incidental accidents uh, uh, on film sets uh, from time to time, but nothing like this. This is a one in a trillion episode. It's a one in a trillion event. And so the, he is in shock. He has a nine-year-old son. My kids are in the car crying. Because you guys are following and them all and I want to do, know. As a courtesy to you, I came to talk to you. I'm not allowed to comment on the investigation. I talk to the cops every day. I talk to them every day to find out. They know where you are. Of course, look, yeah, of, I mean, I, I'm cooperating course. with them, of course. So my point is, is that, is that I'm just asking. We sat down as a courtesy now to talk to you. Now, please, would you just not follow us for the rest of Just, just leave us alone. Just go home. We gave go you home. everything we could Thank possibly you. give you. Okay. These include, but are not limited to, three firearms, approximately 500 rounds of ammunition, and several pieces of clothing and accessories. We believe that we have in our possession the firearm that was fired by Mr. Baldwin. We also believe that we have the spent shell casing from the bullet that was fired from the gun. We know that mistakes happened. We're not exactly sure who did it, when, when they did it, how they did it. Um, I think the information that we've got in the industry is that there should be no live rounds on set. Uh, that was a live round that struck, miss, struck and killed Miss Hutchins. Well, I can say this, that uh, those two individuals are obviously the focus of the investigation, so um, they're the focus. 
You know, we're working diligently. There is no timeline. There's a lot of people that need to be interviewed. And when you interview people, there's more information that may come to light. So there isn't a timeline. We want to do a thorough investigation. And I can uh, assure you that our investigators are, are working uh, hard and diligently to get this uh, completed as, uh, and as thoroughly and complete as possible. Yeah, Alec, how are you doing? How are you doing, Alec? that yelled at me at lunch because asking about revisions is Did you see him yell at my table and yell at me? He's supposed to check the guns. He's responsible for...